Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Monday, May 27th. Hope you had a great weekend. Oh, by the way, I hear my American friends uh, are still enjoying the weekend, long weekend over there. Um, perhaps you're out on the weekend enjoying the nighttime skies. As you can see from this article here, a bright fireball streaks over southern Ontario, northeastern U.S. In fact, there's actually two fireballs that streaked across our skies. I got reports on both of them here. This story here goes on to say that perhaps you're reviewing the grouping of Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. Well, perhaps like me, you missed it, so I got a pick for you. Okay, so this was taken here, May 26, 8.45 p.m. As you can see, uh, sunset, and down below there's three planets uh, grouping together, triangular shape, a formation, I should say. So anyhow, not only did I miss the uh, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter grouping, but I also miss, missed out on the extra treat here of the Sunday night uh, bright meteor, uh, that what they call a bolide zip through the skies a little after 9 p.m. You know, even here at home here, I have friends ask me, asteroid, meteor, bolide, fireball, missiles, what's the difference? Well, let's see here what we can find. Okay, you know, I'll be the first to admit here, Wikipedia is not the best source of information. I've even mentioned in my past videos here how my, um, the fellow that helps me with my website, connectingdots1.com, uh, has mentioned he's worked for Wikipedia in the past. He's told me of personal accounts here where they censor the truth. There's only certain information. They want you to think they're open and honest, but they're not. And oddly enough, this weekend here, I'm downtown having a coffee downtown, running into a gentleman I hadn't seen in a long time. He's a, a new to the truth movement, but I talked to him a couple of years ago about the censorship on Wikipedia. He starts telling me uh, this weekend, uh, uh, he'd remember that story. We hadn't seen each other. He's like, hey, remember that Wikipedia? You're right, they do censor. So folks, it's not a big conspiracy in this case. It's not about the alternative energy. He was talking about the markets. They censor there. I was talking about vaccines. They censor that. Let's uh, suffice it to say there's not a big conspiracy be behind bol bolides. So, so I am assuming we can we can trust them. They go on to say here that there is no consensus on the definition of a bolide. So there are specific definitions used by several groups and fields. It says one of them is a for uh, bolide is a fireball, and the other definition describes a bolide as a generic large crater forming impacting body, whose composition, for example, whether it is a rocky or metallic asteroid or an icy comet is unknown. It goes on to say the word bolide comes from Greek, bolis, which means missile. So yeah, we were greeted or treated with two missiles this weekend. Okay, so the first one was on Saturday, May 26, multiple uh, multiple state eyewitness accounts here. I'll leave a link to everything you see in this video. I'll link down below in the show more tab. Click there. Some good stuff here you may want to keep. And the second one being on Friday, I mean on uh, Sunday night here on the 27th. Um, again, multiple states, multiple eyewitness accounts. I got a better map there. If you scroll up here, and scroll up right here where it says all meteor sighting reports, click here. That's where you want to click. It'll take you right over to here. Okay, so like I said, all the links will do are down below and you'll want to save this one, I think. Add it to your favorites because as you can see here right on the front page, it says make, submit, a meteor fireball report. So this is crowdsource information. So if you want to be proactive, participate here. If you happen to see something in the skies, uh, well, open up your favorites under fireballs or meteors, whatever you want to bookmark it as, and uh, why not submit your own report? Now, two things I like about this website. As you can see, part of it down below is that interactive map. And what I like about it is that you can zoom in and uh, change it, satellite, map, and it gives you a, a little icon there that you can click on or just put your cursor over it and it'll tell you exactly what town where the sighting took place. So that's kind of great when you get all these different sightings. It gives you a better idea what direction and which ones are false and which ones you should pay attention to. Now the best of it is down below. And it's the reason why I want you to favorite this if you can is because this is crowdsource information. As you can see here, uh, there's different columns, different information, but the best of it is at the end. And not only do you get to say the colors and whatever sounds you got to hear and how bright it was versus the moon, uh, the moon and the sun and Venus, but there's also fragments. Was there anything falling off? What did you see? What comments? That's where the juice is here, folks. 
Okay, so if you scroll down there, you'll see the where it's, the red box is there. I'll read that one there from uh, 27 Michael. He goes on to say, yes, there was fragments. I saw a tail, then it exploded like fireworks, but only saw one piece break off. Now, if you look a little further up, uh, two reports, three reports further up, there's another person that says yes from Anita in Wildwood, New Jersey. She says, yes, had just walked outside for a minute and just happened to see it fly by. So I don't think that's a credible report and I think that's the reason the guy that owns the website did not highlight that one. And the same thing if you scroll up uh, four more higher than her, uh, Jessica from Falls Church, she goes on to say, yes, was bright enough to concern me, especially considering how overcast it was. So I don't think she had a good sighting of it either. Now if you want an idea, I think that both of the girls were talking about how bright it was and if you look the the very top one there, Martin Shaw, right under Aaron Erberg, he is also from Falls Church and he goes on to say uh, uh, no fragment not that I could see largest thing like this that I have ever seen in 71 years so it was definitely big and I guess that's why we have multiple reports on it okay the next one is on the 26 here now the very top one here uh, you'll see there was no comments but instead of answering yes or no he says there seemed to be multiple pieces but not sure if it was active fragments and now the one in red he says uh, only right at the end when it burned up. I saw it burn up. During the final moment, it appeared half the size of the moon, broke into two or three bits, and fizzled out. I was facing north, one other witness. Okay, and a little further down, uh, you can see there's two more in red there, broke into small, into several pieces, smaller than the moon, but no, but way bigger than a planet. The other one says three pieces at the end of the trail, four witnesses, not sure if popping sound is related. I'm sure it is. Anyone who watched those past videos, I talked about uh, the meteor, the fireballs that were seen over Japan, Spain, Russia, all of them had uh, sonic booms. The one that landed over Russia, that fireball, um, well, the, the sonic boom actually blasted windows. There was over 1,100 people sent to the hospital seeking medical attention. There was 50 of them that were hospitalized. You may saw that video here where I showed the, how even the roof off the factory was blown right off because of the sonic boom. There was hundreds and hundreds of reports of windows that were blown in. So yes, I'm sure it's all part of the same here. Uh, same with the top one here. Fragments at the end, bright white object from east to northwest that it looked like it was breaking apart right before it disappeared. So we have multiple accounts here of it breaking apart and that's important. You know why? Because this the study here says POW! Mars hit by space rocks 200 times a year. Small space rocks are carving fresh craters into Martian uh, surface more often than previously thought researchers say. A new study finds that there are more than 200 asteroid impacts on the red planet every year. These asteroids and comet fragments are usually no bigger than three to six feet across, about ten times smaller than the meteor that exploded over Shabinsk, Russia in February. Now that's interesting because anyone who was paying attention to that one, um, the, the impact area where it hit the lake was only roughly about 10 feet, maybe 15 feet wide. Now, if you didn't see my video, I advise you to go take a look at it. I did not play with it. That's all the uh, original image. That Russian uh, fireball was hit by an unidentified flying object. A disc-shaped object came flying through. I didn't edit the image. It's only the colorization that's changed on it and the zooming magnified. That's it. So something hit that, that, that piece of rock that went over Russia that made it blow up. And, and now we have concerns here where they're starting to realize, wow, there's a lot more coming out there than we originally thought. And that's the reason why I've been sticking with these comments, because of this Farsight.org, Global Coastal Event, uh, WebBots, uh, it's all showing that this was supposed to take place right before this Global Coastal Event. Okay, I'm going to finish off this video here with, again, folks, uh, many of you have sent me emails telling me how it's true, you're being censored, you're not getting your notifications. I know because I can see the subscribers. This channel is getting roughly anywhere from 5 to 20 new subscribers per day. My views should be going through the roof, they're not. I'm advising you, advising you to come directly to Connecting Dots 2 here if you want to stay up uh, uh, dated with what I put out, folks. Connecting Dots 2, all one word as you see written on the screen, okay? See you there.
Okay, I'm going to finish it off with leaving a link to Radiation Network Map here. As I mentioned, I uh, do the radiation count on the West Coast, and it's been up for the last couple of days. Spikes up to 125, 140 counts per minute when I usually only get 20 to 40. Yeah, so if you don't have a Geiger counter, Radiation Network. Take care, folks. Talk to you soon. Ciao.